Hello guys, Garcia here. Welcome back to Onimusha 3. So today guys, we'll be going back to the Dark Realm or the Dark World, but this time with uh, Samanosuke. That's why I have the white Akko out here or Akko with the white outfit. So, but before that, let me just see if I can level up at least one of one more of my weapons here. I apologize for my voice. I'm still uh, under the weather a little bit, so it's not going to be great. Okay, so I have eight. I already started on the tenth, so so let's go. Probably Chigo would be better here, to be honest. But this is the one that we have that is the closest one, so might as well. Oh, this is so close. There you go. Okay, so for Samanosuke, this part will be a little bit more complicated. He has a bunch of heals here, so I'm not worried about that part. And we already have the Onimusha Souls here, so that's good too. The main problem for him is that his version of the Dark Realm is actually very, very, very long. Way longer, probably twice as long as the one that we did with uh, Jacques. So I hope we can do this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to warp back and get some extra healing items just in case, you know? Because it's so long that I honestly feel like it might be necessary. Jock already did his, his part anyway. As you can see, the, the visual bug that I have here on Mont Saint Michel apparently only happens with Jock. It does not happen with Samanosuke, which is awesome. Alright, so I'm going to send a couple of each of these here. Yeah, the rest is fine. I'm not sure if the, the triangle key that I got last episode, if it's for Jack or Samanosuke. So, for Jack, we actually need to proceed the story on his side. So, we have been saving some uh, French prisoners that are here working as slaves here. <laughs> working, they are being forced to work here as slaves here in Mont Saint Michel. So, we actually need to go back to that side there with Jacques in his version of this world here so we can uh, continue the story but for the Samanosuke I actually skipped the Dark Realm so let's go do that right now so same thing as Jacques I'm going to use white Akko here or Akko with the white outfit as much as possible just to like ensure that um, yeah, no, I'm gonna go with the blue one just to ensure that we will be able to at least uh, use way less healing items that, than we did with Jacques the first time we went there. So he always, he always says the same thing, that's why I'm skipping here. Okay. So we already have the item that Jacques got in the Dark World, which is like a green orb or something. We already opened the chest. I, I, I'm going to be completely honest. It's been like three weeks since I last played this game, I think. So to be honest, I don't even remember what was on that chest. Could be the wind seal, could be anything else here. So I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, ninjas, awesome. <laughs> oh, damn it. Leave me alone. So with Tenso here, I can actually compete with them in terms of like speed. But the problem is I only damage one guy at a time. This one is better, but it's way slower obviously. But it's really going to depend on which enemy we get, you know. Oh Jesus. Does not find the time here. Okay, so let's heal right away. It's going to be a long one. So I'm trying to remember what was in the chest. But I do remember, I don't remember if it was like a purple orb or a green orb that Jack got in his version. And I'm not sure, I think there's a chest for Jack too that I wasn't able to open because it was. 
because I need the other orb that I might get here. Uh, so I'm not really sure what was in the chest. And to be honest, I've been so... Uh, haven't been sleeping a lot, haven't been eating a lot, to be honest. Uh, coughing a lot too. So it, have been, it has been hard to find a time to record because sometimes during the day I can speak normally. Other times I speak for like 20 seconds and I start coughing right away. You know, when you, you feel that thing at the back of your throat that you can't scratch. So you start just coughing to see if you can solve the feeling, you know. So I've been having that a lot. Alright, that's enough. So let's go back to Blue Aqua here. Yeah, let's start on this side first. Yeah, I need to kill the archer like right away. There you go. Oh, he didn't die. I thought he was dead. Alright, Chigo probably is going to be great here. Uh, where is it? Here. Yeah. Chigo in this type of situ this type of situation here is probably the best one. When they are like spread out. Okay. Oh, damn it. The range is crazy. Alright. Okay, so let's see a little bit again. This needs to be like the full bar, but just a little bit, you know? So I need to stand still. Okay. So I remember that when we were playing with uh, Jacques, he saved, I think, already two guys, if I'm not mistaken. Two prisoners. One in the steps of Monster Michel and the other near that door that we cannot open that requires the, the gear that we didn't get yet. So probably there's at least a couple more. And also they, they give us uh, some items every time we save them. So I hope they give us either like a power jewel or something that like raises our max HP or max MP here. So we can use more specials, you know. All right, so let me just bring some water real quick. Okay. So, so far, not feeling the urge to cough here. Okay, done. Let's switch Aku. All right. <clears throat> Wait, I think I went back, yeah, yeah. So I need to go blue now. Just a second guys, sorry guys, I'm back, I had to take a phone call real quick, so let's go back. Okay, oh, this is terrible, I hate these guys, they are terrible. They really have to be dealt with with the, the specials. Only one is kind of fine, but more than one is just a pain yet. All Alright, so let me use a faster one here. For these guys. Remember that this one is already maxed out, so I hope the damage got better here because I'm not seeing that much difference. But the whole point of this one is the speed, not the... Oh my god, that's a lot. The combo is like <laughs> 6 hits. So I definitely need to defend that one. Okay. Bye, Aku. Oh, Aku. <laughs> Bye to the guy here. Okay, so let's use Aku again. So obviously, I edited that cut that I had to make here, but it has been like half an hour <laughs> later. So I need to get my groove back here. All right. So sometimes the, the health bar disappears when you are idle. Problem is, 
not exactly the situation we were in here. Oh, I'm actually using my ice arrows instead of the regular ones. I'm glad I, I caught that. You can see the 23 blue up there. So I imagine that's the ice arrows. I actually got some arrows with uh, someone, oh, with Jacques. So I sent them to Samanosuke here, but I have no idea why arrows drop for Jock. I didn't even know that that was actually possible, you know? Alright, so let's go. Oof, okay, what we have. Not great. But at least these I can deal with, with the Tenso here. That's always a plus. Because it's the easier special to hit. You never miss the, the Tenso special. That said, he's getting crowded quickly. Oh, I got so lucky, he ended up entering the range of the weapon. Yeah, the main problem with this guy is the block. Yeah. I'm sitting ducks by dodging like that. So I'm just going to thin the herd here. Yeah, let me just use a special of one of the weapons here. Mm, I kind of want to hold on to the Chigo here. Because it's so strong. You get such a wide range. What happened? I've never seen that before. Did he vanish? I'm sure I didn't kill him. Well, so let's go with the Onimushina. The reason why I didn't use healing items there is because we are only at the beginning here. So that gives me a lot of chances to actually refill my Onimusha Souls instead of using the healing items, you know? So that's the, the thought process. And also I'm using White Aqua here <laughs> for some reason. I forgot to switch. I need to remember that. This is probably one of the puzzle ones, or maybe not. Yeah, that's the orb Jacques needs. So we are going to send him this one. So this path is completed. Let's go to the other side. I just hope I have enough healing items for this. Alright, I have to do this room without using anything. Just have to. So let's see if I can do that. This is the only enemy that, if it's in a huge group of them, you can actually kinda deal with them without having to do too much or re to rely on like RNG, you know? Or getting <laughs> locked on the corner like that. One special would probably solve everything here, but then I won't have enough for later enemies. And it doesn't matter how, many, how much damage I take in these rooms here, because I can always use Aqua to heal. You know? So that's why I'm healing before every room, so I can have a cushion. Okay? And I can avoid using either healing items or the special. I remember this back in the day when I first played. It was a, like a lifetime ago. It was 17 years ago. Half my life ago. That's crazy. But really, Chigo is doing a lot of work here. The part of the combo that he swings the axe around is just so strong against this type of enemy. Oh, Onibusha So, there you go. Got one. So, let's keep an eye out for these. Oh, this is actually closed off. Interesting. Or sectioned off. So it's not going to be as big as I, I'm thinking it's going to be. Go. Cool. Oh, blue one. Yeah, so the green orb was the one that I got with Jacques for Samanosuke. Yeah, for sure this is a Chigo room. There's no way you can face these guys just by striking. And yeah, the souls are going to be gone. There's nothing I can do about it. So, uh, 
Now that they are spread out, Kuga's better. Got three, four, actually. Good. I don't think you can stop the, the rolling thing. Oh, <laughs> that's, the, that's pretty bad. <laughs> that's one hell of a, an ominous uh, pause here. Yeah, you basically have to just wait for them to to roll as much as they want, basically. Okay. Cool. So you, let's use Akko again here. I'm going to use her on the map here. Let me see if this is possible, just so I can check where I'm going. Yeah, it is. Great. Alright, so that first, uh, the second green line on the left here, there's no extra paths. The the right, uh, the, the second red line also guided us, guided us to a room that also had no, has no extra path. So probably we are going to do the worm here. So we are going to start to go right, then go down, and then back left again. Otherwise there would be no reason for this map to be as big as it is, right? Also. In the Dark Realm, usually we have those runes that refill our special, our magic power here. I don't know how it's called in this, name, in this game, but... So hopefully we can find one of those runes pretty soon. Let's go. So the first one is going to be the green one. Eventually I'm going to get some uh, free rooms too. Those rooms that only have like plants and stuff. Oh, this room is absolutely atrocious. This is a terrible combination of enemies. <laughs> absolutely terrible. This is the worst enemy in the game, <laughs> easily. Still not dead after two specials. My god. This guy's crazy. Alright. Let's go with Tenso here. Oh, so they don't use the full combo all the time, I see. I was completely expecting to be like, to sit in front of the enemy defending forever. Didn't happen. <laughs> I never hit the finishing move for some reason. Damn, but no one in Musha Souls. Oh, I got one. There you go. I was just about to complain. <laughs> just got one. Oh, let's heal. Okay. I know it's kind of tedious doing this. It is for me too. But the only way to avoid using too many healing items here is just by doing this, otherwise I'll be using a healing item in every other room here or basically every room depending on the enemies and that for the rest of the game is going to be rough because as far as I know the Dark Realm for the most part is kind of a an extra thing it's not really like part of the the recurring story so I don't think we actually need to be here but I might be wrong because I don't remember, as I as I told you guys, it's been so many years. But I'm pretty sure that most of the stuff here is extra stuff. And also, we still have our charm. I think we lost the charm that I had with uh, Jacques, but I think we got another one. And for Samanosuke here, I still have the, the wood charm, I think. So we should be fine, even if we die at least once here. And also, if we can get more souls, we can at least guarantee that I won't. I will have like an extra gear to go to in case we get a really, really bad room. Like that, yeah, this room is not that bad actually. The enemy is annoying, but the room is not that bad in comparison. Yeah, but I cannot stay here. I need to move out. Okay. 
I hope the ghost doesn't vanish if I don't attack it. You know? Oh man, I'm all be able to get this one. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get that one. That's so unlucky. Ah. Come on, come on. Do we have it? Nope. Yeah. It's gone. Oof. This is going to be almost impossible without healing items. Uh, I still have one with Chigo, but it's not going to be enough. Problem with my Chigo, he's there. Oh, I got one. Oh, there you go. So did I get the spirit? I think so. So the main problem with my Chigo is that it's the only weapon that I have that is level 2. But also I couldn't like really level this weapon because, to be honest, it's really good here, but outside doesn't matter all that much. Or at least so far in the game it hasn't mattered. So I was totally expecting this, this one to be extra long. So let's... I could totally like make cuts here, but I already had to make a big cut and I might start coughing so I also might have to cut because of that so I don't want the, the video to be full of cuts, full of edits, you know? Especially jump cuts, when you edit a video and put some cuts in just to like, to, if you are like telling a story or presenting like a, an essay or something, it's okay. But when you are doing a playthrough, it gets weird, gets choppy, you know? So I'll, I'll try not to edit these parts out here. So let me drink some water real quick. Okay. So these past few days I've been, I've been doing something that I've ne never done before in my life, which is to actually take medicine for colds. I've never done it before, ever, in my entire life. But my bro my body is not as strong as it used to be, obviously. Time is passing. So unfortunately, it's not responding as well as it used to, to this type of stuff. Usually when I caught a cold when I was younger, it would be like one day, basically. And the, the second day I would be already fine. I'm using the white aqua for some reason, so let's go blue. Okay, so if I can't separate these guys, I can avoid using the special. Oh, or not. I didn't know these guys did that. Alright. Oh, what do you want to Come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. So I got another one. Great. This is very important. Oh, I forgot about that. I thought I had like captured all the souls here, but now I remember that it only act activates when you clear the room, right? Yeah, these guys are very annoying. Kuga is not the best one for them. I'm gonna go with. Uh... Oh, sorry, Denso. Get up. I wish you could, you could block while walking, that would be awesome. But I, that is too much to ask for a game from, from the beginning of the 2000s, you know? No way. You would be able to have a feature like that. Back then. Or maybe I was wrong. Maybe I'm wrong and there is other games that did that back then, but I find it difficult to believe. There you go. I got some extra hits because of that, but that's okay. Alright, but I don't want to use it right now, <laughs> so let's try to avoid these guys here. Man, this is so annoying. Oh, damn it. Uh, just trying to evade the guys, but they are so quick. And you evade the one that right in your face and then the second one hits you from behind just brutal oh but we got a lot of health we got some special back too so that's okay we have some chests 
I don't think so. Alright, so we don't need to heal this time. We can use very little heals. I think we use like two. So, uh, just two. So far. I'm glad that during the special you get like invulnerable. Oh, I see. So these enemies always give you a Onimusha Soul because they are Samurais, right? Cool. I like that. Gives you like a predictable enemy to farm the souls. Or not. There you go. <laughs> Just proved my point incorrect. Uh, Kuga is better here. Ooh, that was close. Oh, I forgot about that. Damn it. Oh, I, I missed the other one. That's a pain. Oh, this one died real, real quickly. Maybe it hit the enemy. Move, move, move. There you go. Unfortunately, I need to kill these enemies here to proceed. Right? Alright, what do we have here? Okay. What's that? Oh! These dolls are annoying as hell to fight. But I'm not sure if they like they actually do anything. Oh, there you go. Because I always either caught them before they did or they just vanished. They usually hold some like key items. They showed up like I think two or three times already in the game. I don't know what they what they are supposed to be because obviously this game has a lot of like Japanese culture tie-ins. I don't know what this creature does exactly in terms of like cultural connection. I am a Japanese animation fan, so. Dolls are very common in Japanese animation, in manga and stuff. Yeah, the triple attack is rough as hell. There you go. Alright, hopefully I can... Yeah, I can combo these. Okay, so we are surviving. No charms were used yet. Oh, really? The, ma the map apparently this is so weird I was expecting way more rooms okay. hopefully I can deal with this one this attack is so brutal <laughs> all right what do we have here medicine oh there you go now the rooms are starting to Converge a little bit. All right. Oh, not the best combination. Oh, got super lucky. He moved literally like in the direction of the special. Help me out. I need to leave this place like right now. Okay. So what do we have here? Hopefully we have both of them at uh, full, yeah. Actually let me go with Tenso here because they are way too spread out here. Against these big guys here, Tenso is better. Come on. Souls. Oh. Almost was able to avoid them. Get up, get up, get up. Thank you. Yeah, the hitbox is absolutely terrible. Come on. Let's go with... Has to be Chigo now. I don't have anything else. I don't think you need to be like that conservative with the healing items like I'm being here, to be honest. But I'd rather believe that Later on, it's going to be way more important than using it now, you know? Okay. So let's go first, then I'm going to use 
Aqua here to heal. Red, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're already six souls. That's pretty good. On average, I think I'm gonna need eight to nine souls to level up Chigo to level three. And apparently level three is the max. So this trip alone might max out Chigo. So that's actually very good. Uh, just a second. I need to drink water like at least once every 10 minutes to be able to clear my throat, you know? Alright, so so far not that bad. The main problem, I'm getting hit so, hit so much because you have to choose between attacking and defending. If you defend, you don't do anything. You just stand there defending, you know? And when you are fighting one enemy, that's fine because they all have patterns, obviously. But when you are fighting several, like two or three different types of enemies, and uh, their patterns obviously have all different timing, timings and ranges and range to them. So what that makes you do is that basically you have to choose between like take some hits from some of them to be able to kill the others, you know. That's why Aqua is vital here. Without Aqua, I have no idea how anyone would be able to do this like without being a really good player, which I'm not, you know. So that's why Aqua is there for us, the average guys. And also my, my time is terrible right now because I'm still nowhere near 100% physically. So I, I can't just, my reaction time is just not good right now, unfortunately. I was way better at these types of games when I was younger than I am now, which is weird because usually you only get better. You only start getting really bad when you get like in Witcher 50 or something in terms of gaming, you know? Oh, the soul. Come on. Let me get the soul. Come on, I'm going to eat you. Yeah, I lost the soul. Damn it. I always get the soul from like the first enemy in the room instead of the last. So every time I have to. Oh, there you go. Come on. And remember that I'm using the blue Aqua here, which is the one that helped me draw the souls faster. And it's still not working. <laughs> still not helping that much. So annoying. Alright, so the blue one. Alright, because of the camera, you have to check out the the corners. Okay. You just stand there real quick. So this one might like be a bunch of rooms too, it might be just like a triangle. You go left, then you go right. Blue sea. It's incredible that like when we were like either kids or uh, teenagers, and I'm not even that old, I'm like 33, so I'm not like super old. But I'm already at that point that even games that I played a lot, even like 10 years ago, I'm already forgetting everything about them. Literally, yeah, not, not talking about like memory things like map layouts and enemy patterns and things of that nature that you really need to practice to remember. I'm talking like literally basic stuff, basic plot points and things of that nature. I recently was playing Final Fantasy X again and I didn't remember anything about the game other than the characters. Literally nothing. Oh, this room is going to be atrocious. Oh, I'm so glad Chigo has full charges. Yeah, this... Oh, I shouldn't have used the last one. That was a mistake. Oh, luckily I got some special back. Yeah, but this room without the special is just, like, death. There's no way. With this enemies charging at you and the other ones shooting fireballs, it's just... Almost impossible. Oh, sorry. That's not the one I wanted. Oh, I was trying to position myself. Didn't work out. Oh, he did it for me, actually. I did not do that. If you guys didn't notice what happened there, I started using the special in one direction. Samanoski actually reallocated it for me. That's really cool. 
I didn't even know that that was possible. So he used one side of the special in one side, and then he went to the other side right away. Oh, come on, get up. I have a soul to get. He's going to charge, right? Oh, he can reallocate the charge shoot. That's actually important. I'm glad I noticed that. So mid charge, he can just change directions. Very sneaky. All right, so this time around, I'm not forgetting to use Akko here. <laughs> okay. So I was talking about memory, right? There's very few games that I always remember what I'm doing in terms of like where I'm going, uh, the main quest, if there's like some extra stuff, some treasure or things of that nature, or unlockables. Most of the time I remember them, but it's only like 15 games. All the other games I played during that period, I'm forgetting. There's games that I don't even remember playing anymore at this point. And I am not those, one of those people that every month I play, I play like 20 different games. Or everything that comes out I try, you know? I just pick a game and then I play it forever, basically. So for example, Samurai Warriors, I have like 500 hours in that game. And I have two versions in my PC. I have the, the PC version of the game, Samurai Warriors 2. And I also have Samurai Warriors 4. And I also have the, the PS2 version for the emulator. I, I have the disc to this day. So that's one I will never forget. Oh, this room is bad. Actually, Kuga might be better here. Let's take some... Yeah. Because you have to use the special in like an angle. Yeah. I don't have it anymore, so... Go Chigo. Okay. Do I have another Chigo? Yeah. This is so crazy. <laughs> so powerful. Unfortunately, I don't have... I only have... Oh! Oh, really? They can hit each other. I actually have no idea about that. I saw them hit other enemies before, but I didn't know they could hit, like, literally hit each other. That's cool. So that's the idea here. You just walk around and maneuver them so they can kill themselves. Or each other, that's a better way to say that. The way, the way that I said, like, sounded like they are committing, like, seppuku. They're, like, ceremonially suiciding themselves by choice in the middle of the battle. Oh, that's awesome. Give me the soul. Cool. So, yeah, I think the, the lower part here is not going to have as many rooms to explore. I think I, the max souls that you can carry is 9. So it doesn't matter if we keep going here forever, basically. I don't think we can get like 10, 11 souls. So there's no point in this, in having a bunch of extra rooms to collect souls here, you know? I think, I might be completely wrong about that. Man, the sweeping strike of, the, of Chigo is just insane. It basically always hits. Problem is that is the per the third part of the combo, so you have to hit the the other two, right? Okay. So what did we get here? Medicine. Sure. There you go, blue. Okay. Just a little bit of Akko here. So I was having trouble with Akko because. She has obviously different outfits that you can use with different colors that have different effects and stuff. I was not remembering the word outfit, it just was escaping my mind, so I was using like clothing and other like variants, other synonyms, you know? 
And then randomly one day I was looking at something on YouTube and I was like, oh, I I've already seen this outfit somewhere else. And I was like, outfit? <laughs> I remember the word randomly, you know? Sometimes that's what happens when you don't, uh, you are not like a native of a language. You just remember words that you haven't been using. Oh, Jesus. Alright, this room is atrocious. Mostly because of the sword guy here. I need to switch Akko. Alright, this room is going to be trouble. For sure. I heard that the guy died back there. I don't know if the sword guy can hit the other enemies too, that would be good. I'm getting too impatient here. Okay. Where's the rest? I know there's more. Oh. Was hiding in my blind spot. This one doesn't do the triple strike, then the armored that the armored one does. Okay, so we are just yeah. So this might be the last one. Might. The other outfits so far, I didn't see like the need to actually unlock them one every time you hit an enemy you the enemy releases a soul so i guess it's probably good for healing and for like recovering some magic points but you can like stop every time during combat to to get souls you guys have been seeing like my my troubles here, trying to get the Onimusha souls during combat, it's terrible. So I don't think that's good. And the other one is that one that drains enemy from their souls like while they're still alive, basically. Which is very situational, I think. Maybe you get more souls that way, but that just seems like a fool's errand. You just stop in the middle of the, the enemy, uh, a room full of enemies to just like draw souls, you know? Just doesn't seem like a good idea. Alright, if, if this is the last one, then it's going to be really bad. Purple vest. Let's just check what the vest does real quick. Oh, this is the one that shows the, the enemy critical. Yeah. Last match power consumed. Hmm. I'm actually not sure if that is amazing. I know it's good. The idea is good. But... I'm not sure if like that really actually helps. I'm going to start with Chigo. I guess I have one here. Yeah, I do. The good thing with Chigo is that you don't need to aim. It just hits the entire room, you know? Now, let's go with uh, Kuga here. Here. Alright, I got the guys. Oh, the purple vest is very cool. Alright. Right now I don't need these souls anymore, so I don't need to worry about that one. I already have enough trouble to deal with. There you go. So is it over? I think so. Yeah, we got everything done. That took a long while, but... You know what? Using Akko helped a lot. There you go, we have tons of healing. Like a crazy amount of healing. And we have the orb that we can send to Samanosuke. Oh, to, sorry, to Jock. So this was a win. I apologize for like the <laughs> having to pause all the time to, to use Akko, but that's definitely the correct way to do this in terms of like... Saving items for later, you know. I'm gonna go with the, the armor this time around instead of the gauntlets. 
Ooh, that's a lot of souls, my god. But okay. So I'm glad I didn't start this earlier instead of the weapons, because... Oh yeah, I should have ma maxed out Chigo. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but okay. That's fine too. Alright, so... I need to send... The orb. What else do I need to send here? I didn't use the charm this time around, so... I'm going to send one medicine to Jock. And one saw here. I don't know how to pronounce this word in English. Solve. Salve. Maybe salve, I guess. Okay. So, I need to go back to the Dark Realm. Luckily, as far as I know... Oh, actually, let me save first. Just in case, right? I haven't saved yet. So, uh, as far as I know, the Dark Realm does not... The enemies there don't respawn. So I can just go there and get the, the chest that I need. I'm pretty sure it's like in the, in the first room, if I'm not mistaken. So it's not like something that's going to require a lot. Hey okay, man. Sure. Yeah, so it's there. Apparently, they do respawn here. So let's just use your side here and be done with them. Oh, they moved out. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I need to time this better. Oh, yeah, I'm using purple aqua here. So, yeah, it gave me an extra special because I use less for each one. So NJ is terrible here, but it's the only one I have. Problem with NJ is that it's only one enemy. Basically just a, a worse version of Tenso. That doesn't have the speed, you know. Sorry. That's the one I was looking for. Okay, so I think I don't need to do anything else. Just get this thing here. Wait. Yeah. Alright. So let's use it. Purple orb. Wood charm. So the, the charm we... we had you use the other one? Fire seal and uh, wood charm. So maybe we might get even... These weapons, I thought they were like New Game Plus weapons. But maybe we might actually get these weapons during the, the base game. Which is interesting. Because I do remember several like New Game Plus features. Of course, this is a Capcom game, so obviously... <laughs> They love their New Game Plus stuff, right? Resident Evil. But, uh, apparently we might be able to get these weapons during the game. I don't remember, to be honest. I remembered that we could get three for each guy. But maybe we can get extra ones. So, uh, I have no idea how long this is going to go here, in terms of like finding the rest of the, the hostages here. Hostages, not <laughs> the slaves. So, we have the key. Uh, Samanoski's path ends right here, but in the future. So we are here in the past with Jock, so we'll probably have to go down there, all the way down, and plant something for Samanoski to be able to climb down. So I guess the triangle key is for uh, Jock, not Samanoski. So, because I don't know how long this is going to go, probably we should end the episode right here. So in the next episode, we're gonna keep going here with Jacques to be able to see if we can play this stuff for someone else to go up. So that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.